This is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot, PrinterBot.com. This is the PrinterBot LC, or laser cut, build. And we're on the last couple stages here. We've got our base, our bridge, our extruder, and on our extruder mount, and our X carriage. We're going to put the belts on to drive this X axis. We're going to put the lead screws on. Then we'll plug it in. So you want to put your uh, 5 16 nut on the bottom here, about the same distance away. Now I've got this set up already so you can see two screws this way, two screws this way. We've got a fat part on the bottom and a thin part. You can see thin here. And fat here at the bottom. Fat part's going to go around the vinyl tubing that we put on the Z shaft motors. And so we're going to do what we did there. Two through this way. And this is really just for looks. You could do them all the same way if you really wanted. But this way, when they're spinning, they don't look out of place. I'm going to leave plenty of slack so I can pull these apart and get these the pinch to try to be equal on both sides they're not supposed to look like this when they're pinching down on the rods they're gonna they're gonna have a gap so uh, don't think you gotta keep tightening until the gap closes you'll break it All right. So we'll put this guy in. And you don't want it to go more than halfway down. So let's try about there. I just want a nice little pinch on that. These are actually poured parts. If you have white ones that are clearly printed, you can use printed as well. So we'll put that in just a second. I know which the fat part is. All right. Fat part's down there for the vinyl. So this will be the part we use. It's about halfway through. Just a nice little pinch. Don't go crazy. It's just in there very lightly right now while we adjust things. Okay. So that's a good start. Take that all the way off. We're going to go over the belt here in a minute. Let's get this on. There we go. Fit on nice and neat. I actually like how this black looks here against the, the white birch or the light colored birch. Looks nice. Now, this is a pretty pliable. You want to very slowly tighten things down. Go very slowly. You want some play, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now, when these turn, this will wobble. Has no bearing because the the bearings are riding here. You can get this if you if you pay attention and tighten these things. You can, uh, I mean, tighten it and wobble it around and keep playing with it. You can get this to spin where it's almost perfect. 
So we'll do the same with this side. I'm just tightening the bottom right now until it pinches the vinyl tube. A little bit on each side at a time. Feel that's pretty tight, so all right, there'll be some adjustment later. Isn't that interesting? They're mechanically tied, so I mean, um, not mechanically but electrically tied together. So when you spin one, the other spins, so almost identical. All right, so now it's kind of cool because those bolts at the bottom will fit into these slots right here the pointy part of the the bolt the uh, nut I mean I keep saying that so you just want to thread it through the hole make sure the pointed part of the nut is pointed towards you and it'll press right in there there we have our couplers and finally this is the part that a lot of people actually get wrong, and it is the belt. And all you really need to know is, it goes through here, along the bottom, around the pulley. Now, check it out. This is the important part. So, it actually goes under and up through. And we're going to zip tie it right here, but this is the key. When you zip tie it, don't get the bottom belt. You're only zip tying the top. Does that make sense? I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to get in the So the bottom is not pinched in there. It needs to stay on a plane with the pulley. I'll wrap around. Should have plenty of belt. So now one other thing to note, we've got these little um, kind of uh, <laughs> what's the word? Look at these little triangles, these little uh, wedges that uh, actually fit in right here. Let me grab one. So on this piece here, we got a thin one and we got a thick one right there. Okay. And what's that? What that is designed to do is to let you again don't get the bottom of the belt, only get the top. You can use this to slide in there and tension the belt. So that's how that works. And you can even use one on each side. I did two different sizes there to see which one works uh, to give you two options. And they are optional. If you want to, which I usually do, I really try to get this nice and tight right from the beginning. And there's a likelihood you'll be able to get it plenty tight um, without those wedges. But over time, if that belt stretches, you could either re-zip tie it or you can use the wedge. <clears throat> In fact, I'll leave this nice and loose uh, to see if we can use that wedge. Okay. I didn't get the bottom. Let's see if that wedge can help. Boom. Oops. That's nice and tight. That's how those wedges work. They are optional. Alright, so now we have the complete. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, duh. 
tighten my uh, I didn't tighten down my uh, pulley appropriately. So he's binding. So we'll get that all fixed up. Pull this out. There we go. Now we won't have that problem. Okay. So there you have it, a mechanically sound printer bot. And that's it for now.